Hey everybody, this is Mr. Barrett, and I uh, want to share another story with you. Um, this is a musical story, but it's not one that I'm going to sing to. This is one I'm going to read to you. And this is one that I hope will spark your uh, creativity and your imagination, which I feel go hand in hand. Um, I remember as a child uh, wanting to, uh, thinking up things similar to what you're going to see and hear in this story, and um, it brought back lots of memories for me. I mean, just the many things you can do with a cardboard box, just the many things you can do with a ball of string, just the many things you can do with just about anything. So, um, and I, believe me, I did that. Um, I loved that I uh, had the opportunity to think creatively and, and be creative as a child, and uh, and I, still to this day very much believe in that and uh, and uh, try to inspire all my music students to do that as well and and remind myself to be creative every single day and uh, I hope that message comes through loud and clear this is a book that um, I got from our book fair one of our book fairs um, that come to our schools uh, from the scholastic book fairs and this jumped right out at me obviously because you see the big uh, the big stringed bass here, bass fiddle, as they call it. Um, and uh, also, I love that this person's name has the name Barrett in it as well. So a lot of things going for it right there for me. It hooked me. And I was like, oh, got to have this. And, and then turned out to be this wonderful creative book. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to read this to you. I hope you'll enjoy it. It's called Baxter Barrett Brown's Bass Fiddle. Uh, it's written by, the story's written by Tim A. McKenzie, and the illustrations are by Charles Shaw. Let's take a look at Baxter Barrett Brown and his bass fiddle. Baxter Barrett Brown's bass fiddle by Tim A. McKenzie, illustrations by Charles Shaw. This is Baxter Barrett Brown, and this is Baxter Barrett Brown's bass fiddle. Baxter loved to play the bass fiddle. He loved the big, low sounds it made, and he played it all day long. Then, one day, Baxter decided he wanted to take his bass fiddle with him wherever he went. So he got his bicycle, his hammer, and his wrench. And when he was finished hammering and wrenching, he had mounted the wheels on the bottom and the handlebars on the top with the seat. And he put a great big ahooga horn on the front and he called it Baxter Barrett Brown's Bass Fiddle Bicycle. Then off down the road he went. Pretty cool. Can you relate? I can relate. Soon, Baxter came upon a lake. There were all kinds of boats floating on the lake, and Baxter decided he wanted one too. So, what's he gonna do? He put a rudder and an anchor on the back. He put a ship's wheel on top with his, hang, uh, with his handlebars and a sail behind his seat, and he called it Baxter Barrett Brown's Bass Fiddle Bicycle Boat, and off to the water he went. As Baxter was enjoying the ride on his new bass fiddle boat, he looked around the lake and he saw all of the nice beach front homes on the shoreline. He decided he wanted one too. So, what's he gonna do? He set his bass fiddle bicycle boat up on the beach and cut a door into the side. Then he got a bed, a lamp, and a TV with an antenna when you needed an antenna. Oh, can you imagine what this is going to look like? 
and a pot-bellied stove with a pipe chimney. Then he built a boat dock so he could do some fishing, and he called it Baxter Barrett Brown's Bass Fiddle Bicycle Boat Beachfront Bungalow. As Baxter was relaxing and enjoying his new beachfront bungalow, he decided this was a good time for a bass fiddle song. So... What's he gonna do? He climbed up on his bass fiddle bicycle boat beachfront bungalow to play, but Baxter couldn't play at all. The handlebars and the ship's wheel and the sails and the wheels and the big ooga horn and the bicycle seat and the stove pipe chimney and the rudder and the TV antenna were all in the way. Baxter was very sad. He couldn't do what really made him happy anymore. He realized he had traded something he really loved for a lot of things he didn't need. Baxter decided to undo everything. I can also relate to this too. Can you? First, he threw out the bed, the TV, and lamp, and the pot-bellied stove. Then he took off the TV antenna, and the sails, and the rudder, and the handlebars, and the ship's wheel, and so on, and so on, until... Until what? What's coming next? All that was left was the big bass fiddle and lots of room to play it. Baxter loved, he loved having his big bass fiddle back just the way it had been, just the way it was. But then, but then, then what? Then what? An airplane flew by. the end. What do you think he's thinking now? I bet you know. I bet you know what he's thinking. I know what he's thinking. Wow. So fun. I can relate to so much about this book. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's funny, while I was, while I was reading this, um, I hadn't thought of this before, but I was just, um, uh, it, it popped into my head while I was reading the story. Uh, there's a band from the I'm going to go way back, almost 50 years, from the 1970s. I can't believe it's almost 50 years. There was a band called Boston, and a um, band from Boston, Massachusetts, and the, their name Boston. And on the front cover of their uh, debut album called Boston um, is what looks like a spaceship. And if you look closely, it's not really a spaceship. It's actually a guitar as a spaceship. I always thought that was really, really cool and so imaginative, so creative. If you ever get a chance, check out check out Boston, the cover, uh, the artwork for uh, the band Boston's very first album. And that's those spaceships that you see on the cover are actually rock and roll guitars. Uh, and it's also just one great album, too, with uh, every song on it is fantastic. Love the band Boston. Love that album. Just throw that out there. Check it out if you haven't heard more than a feeling or peace of mind or foreplay and... Uh, Gosh, it's just a fantastic album. Um, and the song Rock and Roll Band tells about how they were just another band out of Boston. So check it out. And hope you uh, enjoyed the story. And uh, hope it inspires some creativity. And um, wow, we're just wrapping it all up, aren't we? So um, I'm hoping that uh, you'll have an opportunity to um, check out uh, my very last Wake Up With Mr. Barrett uh, this uh, Tuesday. Um, if you're seeing this on Monday, then it's tomorrow. Um, and if you're seeing it, um, now it's Tuesday. Uh, it'll be Tuesday, June, what did I say? 16th, June 16th, just a few days, uh, before our very last day of school. Um, so definitely check it out. Um, whether you're a student, whether you're a parent, whether you're a friend, a family member, maybe you're someone I don't personally know. I hope you enjoy all of these uh, music uh, and music-related videos. 
and uh, I, I hope you'll check out my very last show, uh, Music with uh, Wake Up with Mr. Barrett. And um, if you do like the, the, what you're seeing here, if you like uh, some of the things I'm sharing with you, I hope that you'll uh, uh, I hope you'll uh, consider uh, subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and sharing it. Please share with uh, whoever you think might enjoy. All right, everybody. Hope you have a great summer. Um, I hope we're back in school in the fall. Like you have no idea. Like I want it so badly, and my fingers are crossed. So we'll see. We'll just have to wait and see. I hope to be back in my music room and doing the thing I love most, which is sharing my love of music with all my students and inspiring them to be all that they can be through music. Love you all, everybody. Take care. Bye.